Okay, so this is a quick follow-on to the uh, nudge tool here, and Ziggy had asked that I uh, try and run a dial test indicator across the front of it after I use the uh, nudge tool to uh, bump it into alignment, and uh, I said, yeah, that sounds like actually a pretty good idea. And the uh, problem is, I don't seem to have a way of mounting this in the lathe. So why not make something? So let's get to it. Okay, so I finished the tool. There it is right there, knurled nut. Milled some flats onto this end so that I could screw it in more easily. I did have to trim this down a bit. It was a little bit long. It was bottoming out in the, uh, in the uh, bump tool here. But hey, let's try this. Let's prove to ourselves just how well this will work in truing something up. So we will deliberately put this one in quite cockeyed. Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit too tight, so I'll do it to a bolt there. You can see that jaw, it's pretty much almost flush, and up here it's uh, fairly far out. So let's bring it in roughly to the edge. Close this up, start the lay and play. And you can see some pretty obvious wobble there. And there I can see the Running continuously there. So we'll bring that off, turn the lathe off, tighten this up, and we'll check to see just how true this is. So we'll bring this back in, take this part off. I think at some point I will probably just make another one of these. dovetail holders specifically for holding indicators but for today this is plenty good enough there we go turn the nut off put our busted dial indicator in there And we'll indicate 
roughly on the top of the middle here. Let's back that up. So I'll bring this up a bit. And we'll get it so that the arrow is pointing more or less towards you guys. And I'll zoom in on uh, this as best as I can. This isn't exactly the best position. I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see the dial indicator. We've zeroed it. So let's uh, turn it a bit here. From what I'm seeing, I'm seeing it go from zero to about minus two thousandths of an inch. So I figured that's not too bad. That's our piece of uh, rough scaly stock, so I don't think it's too unreasonable there. So we got it bumped within uh, certainly, you know, like a two thousandths of an inch of, uh, of true. I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty effective way of aligning something there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check the description for related links and other information.